This is a four-way road, okay? And dead in the center is a crisp new $100 bill. Now at the end of each of these streets are four people, okay? You following? Yeah. Good. Over here, we have a male affectionate, easy to get along with, non-political agenda, lesbian. Down here, we have a man-hating, angry as fuck, agenda of rage, bitter dyke. Over here, we got Santa Claus, and up here, the Easter Bunny. Which one is going to get to the $100 bill first? What is this supposed to prove? No, I'm serious. This is a serious exercise. It's like an SAT question. Which one is going to get to the $100 bill first? The male-friendly lesbian, the man-hating dyke, Santa Claus, or the Easter Bunny? The man-hating dyke. Good. Why? I don't know. Because the other three are figments of your fucking imagination! I don't need this. I'll be hiding from your fucking shit in my room. What? What is it about this girl, man? You know you have no shot at getting her into bed. Why do you bother wasting time with her? Because you're Holden fucking McNeil. Most persistent traveler on the road, that's not the path of least resistance. Everything's got to be a fucking challenge for you. And this little relationship with that bitch is a prime example of your fucking condition. Well, I don't need a magic eight ball to look into your future. You want to forecast here. Will Holden ever fuck Alyssa? Oh, what a shock. Not fucking likely. This relationship is affecting you, our work, and our friendship. And the time's going to come when I throw down the gauntlet and say it's me or her. Then what are you going to say? I think you should let this one go. No, okay? what would you say? Would you trash 20 years of fucking friendship because you've got some idiotic notion that this chick would even let you sniff her panties, let alone fuck her? Look, fucking asshole, I'm telling you, okay? Let it go. What the fuck, man? What the fuck makes this bitch all that important? Because I'm fucking in love with her, man, okay?